This is an extract from the Leader Coronavirus Daily podcast by The Evening Standard and hosted by me, David Marsland. To hear the whole thing, search for it on your podcast provider. No one wants to be the party pooper. But with coronavirus cases rising in England, the government may have little choice. The Evening Standard reports the Cabinet's discussing new social gathering measures that will see the number of people allowed to meet cut from 30 to possibly as few as six. Police would be given powers to break up the celebrations and there are fines of up to £100 being planned. It's all expected to be announced within days. Our editorial column says decisive action that's well communicated is needed. We report today that a legal ban on gatherings of more than six people is being discussed by the Cabinet. But formally, in public, we hear little about what might happen next, or what is being done to prepare for it. Of course, no official or minister can be certain about what's next, but a nation on the brink of an anxious autumn deserves an explanation of the possibilities and how we would respond. People and businesses deserve a lot better than rumours and threats of drastic action if things get worse. If the PM doesn't know the answers, let's at least hear that from him. Fear and uncertainty are the biggest threats to the confidence we need to find. Our political editor Joe Murphy is here. Joe, why is the government looking at this? They are looking at data that's come from the Joint Biosecurity Centre. And it's not good. It's showing the 3,000 cases a day virtually. Um, But they're also looking at the data that went through France and Spain. France and Spain had a big rise in cases, mainly among young people. And what's happened there is a few weeks later, you've seen an increase in hospitalisation. So what you're getting is young people perhaps being a little bit blasé about the rules, passing it to more vulnerable and older people who are then becoming seriously ill. Now, Boris Johnson at Cabinet this morning spelled it out to the Cabinet, saying we must not allow complacency, including among young people. And so the upshot is is that there's a chance that the Prime Minister will hold one of those number 10 press conferences tomorrow. It'll be the first one since the um, before the summer recess. And if he does, my guess is that he'll be announcing formally that it will be against the law to have a party of somewhere between six and 30 people. Against the law, but how will that be enforced? Well, the the significance of changing the law is that it'll suddenly become a police matter if you've got, say, a dozen people having a gathering in your house. Now, at the moment, there's a curious situation because the guidance on social distancing is different to what the law says. So, for example, um, the guidance is that you can have up to six people from different households in your garden, but not indoors. You can have two households in your house, um, but they can't be too big. But what the law says is the police can intervene if you've got over 30 people in your garden um, or in your house, and they will then be able to put fines of up to £100 which then go up remorselessly if you don't pay. That would be levelled against organisers of parties, maybe against people who were there who, if they refused to go. Um, so the change in the numbers, making a legal threshold of, for example, six, is, is being discussed today, but it may not, that may not be the final number. A decision hasn't been taken. But once you say it's six, for example, then the police would have the power to go in, break up the party, and crack down on those who organised it. So this is clearly being aimed at younger people. Is there an urgency because things like colleges and universities are going back? And traditionally, there's a lot of parties at that time, isn't there, Joe? Freshers' Week is coming up, and it won't be like Freshers' Week in the past. It's going to be, a lot of it's going to be gatherings at student houses and halls of residence. Um, And, of course, the students going back will be a million people moving around. It's going to be one of the biggest regional movements of people um, since lockdown itself. Uh, So people, young people, are without doubt breaching social distance more than older people. It was reported that the government reckons it's people who are better off, young people who are better off, who are probably the worst offenders. And that's 
is a matter of urgency because this is going to come to a head in these weeks coming up. Search for the leader coronavirus daily on any podcast provider to hear more from the podcast.